summer school this week and here with everything you need to learn about Wi-Fi, please welcome the editor at large at Tech Radar, Lance Yulinov. Hey, hey, Lance. Welcome, welcome Lance. Back. Thank you, thank you. All right, what are you teaching us here? What's going on? So, besides water and air, the most important resource in your house is Wi-Fi. No kidding. Everywhere. And the thing is, you want to check throughout your house that you are getting the speeds that you anticipate. And you can go to and Google. And paying for. And paying yes. for. And you can go to Google, type in speed test, and you get this immediately, and just hit that button. And right away, you should see. If you don't see the number that you're supposed to get, you should be checking with the cable company. But also, take this around your house and find the I dead love it. zones. I do that. The dead zones are where oh, yeah. you have to adjust. So, yeah. all right. So, and, and this, right next to it here, this is a router. So you have two parts in your, your network system. You have a My modem and a router, like right? That at all. <laughs> the modem is basically getting the internet from the internet company. The router is distributing it through Wi-Fi all through the house. You want to upgrade okay. and replace, typically replace by your own router because you're going to get better speeds. And usually you're looking for something that supports Wi-Fi 6 or 6E, and that's what it's going to do. You know, because basically you want the Wi-Fi spread everywhere because for, you know, webcams and TVs, if you want streaming and everything that's connected to work well, you're going to have them all with the best so possible upgrade internet. The, upgrade the router. Yes. Can you do the modem? The modem, that's usually the... It's, it usually it comes usually from the company, Usually that's going right? to come from the company, but it doesn't matter. You can put your own router on it. You don't Got have it. to wait for them, and I really suggest you do that. But here's another way to really and radically improve your network, your uh -oh. Wi-Fi network, a mesh network system. What is that? Su super simple. You, it has one node that's going to be connected directly to the modem, and then all of these little units, they create satellite systems. They talk to each other and create what what's they called... Say? Them. They say, <laughs> I am your Wi-Fi. And you can get things like this. And these are nice. If you have a hallway and you want to just add one more node, you plug it right into the does wall Does this give there. you the same strength it throughout? It does. That's the thing. It gives you the same strength. Do you strength. have this, Gelman? And in fact, when you use a mesh network, you often get better strength than you had because your regular network isn't reaching all those spots, including your backyard when you like to do, like, outdoor movies mm. at night. You want to have the network out there. Another option is something called 5G at home. Okay? 5G at home, not just you on You have phone. a phone which has 5G. That uh -huh. same network can be brought into your house. They have a special router and modem that they put in there, and then the network is spread throughout. One note, though, check that it's available in your neighborhood. Not all neighborhoods support 5G at home. Okay. okay. I'm going to take a break. More with Lance on Summer School when we come back. Welcome back. We're back at summer school and a lesson in Wi-Fi with Lance Yulinov. All right, what's next? So we talked about how do you really improve your Wi-Fi at home. Now we're going to talk about getting the most out of it, sharing with other people when they arrive at your home. So we want to talk first about how to share your Wi-Fi password from device to device, all right? Okay. Because you have somebody come to your house and like, oh, what's your, what's your Wi-Fi password? So and you really don't want to start... give it to them. You can just give it to them like that. Well, this is one easy way. There's a couple okay. of easy ways to do it. So you go into your setting on your phone. You'll see Wi-Fi, you'll see the name of your network, you basically select that, all right? So you hit select on that. Now, you look at the network that you were on, okay? So this is the network we're currently on. Okay. See a little information button? You tap that next, all right? So you tap that, oh, there's your password, except you can't see it, right? right? All you do is you tap those dots, and then if your phone has Face ID or Touch ID, it will automatically spin and unlock the password, okay, all right? So it. now you've got it. You're like, you can say, oh, I can give it to someone. That's pretty easy. All right, so let's go to the next part here. Okay, so now what about sharing? So you want to easily share your Wi-Fi password among people through something called AirDrop, right? I like that. This is so simple, but you have to, so a lot of, this is very similar, except that you want to make sure you open up AirDrop and make it available to everyone that you're open to everyone for 10 minutes, and it'll do it automatically, just okay. 10 minutes. So you go into there, you do that, and once you've done that, when you go back into that, you know, the Wi-Fi thing, so you've done, this is everyone for 10 minutes, all right? Okay. So mm -hmm. you go into that, and now, when you get back to your Wi-Fi password, what's going to happen is someone, your friend is like trying to get on the network, they look at your SSID, you're gonna see this, share password. So you're now sharing the password, you don't have to say anything, you don't have to know what it is, you basically hit that, they get the password, I like super, that. super Love easy. That. All right, so what if you want to set up a network for your guests, all right? This is actually because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm giving out my Wi-Fi network at home to, to people I ba barely know or friends, and why, why do I do <laughs> I that? I may not be friends with them in a week. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So instead of doing that, most of your home, your internet service providers are going to have guest networks set up, but they're not going to be enabled. 
you go into, you basically log into your, your, the, the, the website, and with your account, you go into internet management, and you'll see guest, and you can basically turn it on. All right, so now you've got a guest network. But to take that a step further, because why remember the password? Why remember the, the SSID, which is the name of the network? Get a QR code. A QR code that you can put up anywhere. Print that out, put it around your house. And By the way, that's blurred because it's my QR right. code. <laughs> and but if they're staying with you, you can also put checkout time is 10 AM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a couple other pieces of information you might want to put Pick on there. So that's just, it's just a really e easy way of doing it. Wow. So okay. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. So we talked about that. We talked about the, the guest network. All right. Locking down the network. All right. So I like that. Basically, you are broadcasting your SSID, the name of your network, everywhere. It goes about 300 feet outside your house. Have you ever, even if you're on a, a, a train sure. and you notice everybody's yep. got their network yep. open, and if you're near somebody's house, you can turn that off. You can basically turn off the broadcast of your SSID, but that does mean that you have to know it, like if you're going to get on there or just have it, again, have the QR codes make it easy. But it's just one way of hiding your network completely from outside prying eyes. <laughs> Nothing can happen without Wi-Fi these days. Nothing. Lance, thank you thank so, you much. so much. much. For all these tips and more, go to our website, kellyandmark.com.